what is worth talking about as a patient with your doctor, and what not to focus on during this communication in order to save precious time, so that after cataract treatment or refractive lens exchange, you get the maximum quality of vision after surgery. Hi there, my name is Oleksii and you are at IOL Advisor channel telling the truth about IOLs. And by the way, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe right now and click the like button because I really need your subscriptions and your support so that I can keep working on my helpful content just for you. Thank you very much. In my personal opinion, during the consultation with the doctor, you definitely shouldn't ask or dig very deeply into questions like why this happened, how it all works, and how exactly the doctor will treat you. Whether it will hurt, not hurt, all that stuff. These are frankly technical details, which you can always read about on the internet, watch on YouTube, including on my channel. You will have plenty of ways to do that. But you won't have another opportunity to talk deeply with the doctor as a person. To get some emotional trust and understand whether the doctor, as a person, really sees you. You won't have the chance to interest the doctor in your personal story and to build that emotional connection between you and the doctor. There will be no other opportunity. So use it right now. And in the context of cataract treatment, what you should especially pay attention to is the quality of vision you want to get after the surgery with your new artificial lens. And the key aspects to focus on during this dialogue are how you used to see before your symptoms appeared. This is a very important element, that is, your visual experience has deep meaning for understanding what should be offered to you as a solution. Second, it's important to tell how it all was, when your visual symptoms changed, why you actually turned to this doctor. Here, it's important not to hide anything, but also not to pay too much attention to small details, because that too can defocus the doctor. Because some patients can focus on secondary factors that don't matter for the specific treatment case. But what is very important, first, as I said, is your visual experience before the surgery, how well you saw into the distance, if you know your visual acuity, earlier, at distance, up close, whether you wore glasses before. These symptoms that led you to the doctor, did they appear gradually or suddenly? Again, was there anything that preceded them? It is very important. Never be shy to tell the doctor if you have seen another specialist. If you searched something on the internet, if you heard something somewhere, and even tried to do something yourself to improve the condition and avoid going to the doctor. All this information may be very important, so never hide it from the doctor. It's very important for the doctor to diagnose you as objectively as possible. Next, it is very important to tell the doctor about your visual expectations. This is the most important and probably the most important stage in the preoperative consultation for a patient with cataract or a patient who plans a refractive lens exchange. Why is this important? Because there are different types of lenses. We have four types of lenses. Each type has its own models. Each clinic has its own models of lenses that they use. And each of these types of lenses and lens models have completely different kinds of, let's say, behavior. They provide completely different visual experiences after surgery. This includes visual acuity at different distances. Near, intermediate, far. This includes contrast sensitivity. Color perception. This includes how a certain lens model works at different distances and under different lighting. It's important not only to report your past visual experience, it's also important to say how you would like to see. Because for example, a person with myopia, one of the cases I often encounter, some people with myopia, although they are used to it, have very good near vision. They may hate the fact that they can't see clearly at a distance without glasses. They say, yes, I know I see great up close, but I don't need that. I want to see clearly into the distance. But in general, the vast majority of people with myopia get used to good near vision. They are comfortable with it. And that's why the doctor may already automatically, knowing that you, for example, have minus two or minus three, focus on the fact that you want to see well up close. But in your case, that might be wrong. That's just one example. So focus not on what you are used to. If you are used to it and it suits you, okay, say that, but if you are used to it, yet would like something else, it's very important to tell the doctor that. The main thing to focus on with the doctor during this conversation is how you want to see after surgery. And to make your consultation with the doctor in this context as productive as possible, I highly recommend that you prepare at home. I always recommend, write down briefly the main points about you, what you want to get after surgery, your previous visual experience, what you want to get after the operation. And when a person writes it down, 
A person who tries to put it on paper, they understand the situation better, how they want to see, they understand their visual needs better. Because when we use our vision in everyday life, we don't always realize what's going on. Because it's impossible to be constantly aware, like, aha, now I'm looking at a distance of 30 centimeters, in two minutes I'll be looking at 60, then I looked into the distance, then closer again, and the lighting is such and such. That's impossible, but it's very important to understand in which direction to move and with which lenses. By the way, regarding lens choice, as I already said, it's a complicated topic. And to make it easier, on my website IOL Advisor, there is an automated questionnaire, Dr. Dell's test. Based on your answers, it gives you a recommendation for one of the four types of lenses that may suit your visual needs. It's a clinically validated questionnaire used in many clinics in Ukraine and abroad to understand a patient's visual needs. It also helps the patient better understand the limitations of certain lenses, because lenses are different and each has its advantages and some limitations. If you take this questionnaire on the site, you will get your result both on the screen and by email. I strongly recommend that you take this result. It will include your answers and recommendations and either print it or send it to your doctor by email or messenger and come to the doctor already prepared. This will significantly ease your awareness about lenses and make the doctor's work easier because they'll already see your answers and recommendations. Then you can discuss specific models with your doctor. If the doctor confirms that this lens type fits you based on clinical and medical criteria and confirms that your answers and needs match what's written, then you can move on to choosing the specific model that matches your expectations, what is available at the clinic, and your budget. If you don't do this, you'll waste precious consultation time, so I really recommend doing it. And actually, what you need to focus on is exactly how you want to see after surgery. Second, if the doctor says something is not possible or cannot be improved, pay attention to this, listen to it, and then at home, try to read about it separately, again, so as not to waste valuable consultation time, get some basic information. But if the doctor says, this is possible, or this is not possible, maybe that's true. You'll always have the chance to go online, go to the internet, or into some chat GPT, and ask artificial intelligence or Google for the information you're interested in. You need to be very careful here. Because if you read some publications on websites, even on clinic websites, or use ChatGPT or Gemini or other AI tools, be careful, because for general medical answers, these systems can give more or less normal, adequate responses, but they cannot give correct answers when it comes to choosing an artificial lens. So please, dear patients, read carefully, check your sources. There are plenty of sources now, and this is the foundation of critical thinking, and really, information hygiene, which is very important in our time. So. It's important to talk with your doctor about the specifics of your vision after the surgery and your life, how you live now and how you would like to live after the operation. And the doctor's task is to hear you in this area. From the patient's point of view, don't try to get a medical education through your doctor. And you, as a doctor, try to draw a boundary. I highly recommend not going too deep into details. Just say, this works like this. If you have sources, I know that many of you our doctors send patients to my videos. That works too. So recommend trusted sources that you, as a doctor, trust and can give your patients to read. If your clinic's website has publications explaining these things, you can share those too. So in my opinion, the main takeaway from this video is that during a consultation, during a conversation with your doctor, it is important to establish an emotional connection. Person to person, you as the patient and the doctor as the doctor. Everything else does not matter, because you won't be able to understand medicine deeply or evaluate the doctor's professionalism. The only thing you can truly do is honestly share your symptoms, what happened to you, and most importantly, focus on how you want to see after the surgery, what really matters in your life. And you should prepare for that in advance. 